Hey, Mad Dog Nation, Dr. Tom Hansen here, coming to you with another edition of Metal Game Monday. And uh, today, I want to talk a little hitting. Be a good idea with Mad Dog Nation. And I thought that um, I had two really cool conversations today with people in my one on one coaching program. Um, had a, um, a high school player, I think he is. No, he's a college player. He's a college player who um, has really been struggling. Lots of pop ups. <laughs> Lots of pop-ups with runners in scoring position, like one out, second, third, <laughs> pops up. It's horrible. And what we did there, we did a lot of tapping. We got to go back and clear out the, all the negative, all the bad at bats that he had, because they start to build up. It's like plaque on your teeth. You need a little mental floss. Uh, you need uh, it builds up and then creates these cavities. It creates cavities in your batting average. It's, is a, quite a problem. So you need to be able to go back and clean out the bad experiences. That, that to me, really, I've been building up. It's like we have this emotional digestive system, and it's just not. You, if you have to, you have to have an experience and then digest it emotionally, and then let it pass out. And if it doesn't pass, then it builds up, and then the next at bat comes up, and then it, because this this kind of ball of uh, negative energy is sitting in there, uh, it blocks the pathways for good hitting. You just get a little forced. You get a little um, you press. And then you've got um, another pop-up. And then that comes in. So it's like, it's like a big car crash. All things come in. And, and all of a sudden, until something happens, the planets um, line, un, or unalign, you know, Mercury moves out of retrograde or something, and you get a hit, and then you're off to the races. Or you can go back and clear them all out, which is a much faster and more enjoyable route. So with that guy, I hung up feeling like a million bucks, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's not like uh, this guarantees him any kind of hits. The deal with the second guy is a college player also has gone to a really big prestigious uh, um, top college program and given away a lot of his power. Not just his power in his bat, but power within himself. Obviously, coming um, from high school into a top program, he had to be a really, really good player. But when he showed up, the guy who showed up at the program was not the same guy who left. It was sort of like, whoa, this is a lot of good players, and they've been to Omaha and so forth. And so he's like hoping and trying to get people to like him, hoping people like him, um, kind of bowing to the coach and just being afraid and really drawing then a lot of negative energy. And of course, lo and behold, can you believe it? He's not hitting well. And so, again, all this stuff is built up in him that needs to get cleared out. And so, for me, so much of the mental game is about clearing out rather than adding on to. Like, hey, it'll get you pumped up and you got to visualize that you can do it. And that's great. But in both of these conversations, I spent 90% of the time clearing out the negative and 10% really focusing on the positive. That, to me, is how important that is. I think that's quite representative. It's at least the 80-20 rule that shows up in, in all kinds of things. But that's what needs to happen. And what has to happen here, people have asked about Ganesh. This is what this, Ganesha, is uh, sitting in the back. He is, amongst other things, the Indian god of the removal of obstacles. The removal of obstacles. And that's what I was doing today with these two hitters, is removing the obstacles that were keeping them from being who they really are capable of being um, in their particular areas. So um, it's about freedom, getting yourself free to be you, getting yourself freed up to be um, yourself rather than trying hard to prove or to impress or to live up to some, I got to get a hit or I am worthless <laughs> kind of thing. And what you need maybe is Ganesha to come in as, she, as he comes into uh, to my office and helps remove obstacles. So get out there and remove those obstacles and play big Mad Dog Nation. See you next week.